Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Miss Erica's Crazy Costume Catastrophe. This week, Miss Erica is dressed as a crazy cat lady. Get ready. First, we're going to look at our big Bible timeline. Remember last week we talked about how Jesus has just began his public ministry. He's just starting to go around and announce that God's kingdom has finally come. And we're getting to see what happens when Jesus is king. So all of the stories that we're going to look at over the next few months are stories that happen because Jesus is king. So this week we're going to look at a story from Mark, but first I want to show you where we're at on our big Bible timeline. We are going to read together from Mark 1, 40 through 41. I'll read it together for us. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling, said to him, If you're willing, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. In this story, Jesus meets somebody that's called a leper. A leper was just a person that got sick and had a disease called leprosy. Leprosy was a really bad disease and everybody was really scared that it was very contagious. It was like a rash that covered your whole body. And so if you had leprosy, everybody would consider you unclean. That's the term they would use to talk about you. They didn't say you were sick. They said you were unclean or like dirty. And in Leviticus, we even see rules that God gave his people for what to do if someone had leprosy because it was so contagious. Fun fact, my favorite book of the Bible is Leviticus. It's super like geeky. There's a ton of weird like facts and rules in there, but if you study them, they all point to Jesus. I just think it's super fun. And so in Leviticus, it talks about if you had leprosy, you had to wear torn clothes all the time. You had to have your hair grown out. You couldn't get a haircut. You had to live outside of the village or the town all by yourself, and you had to live all alone. So you couldn't live with your friends or family. And you would have to stay out there until you got better. And even when you got better, you didn't go to a doctor to see if you were better. You would go to a priest. And a priest would look you over and say whether you were clean or unclean. So this leper meets Jesus. And I really like this story because this guy probably was super lonely. He was sick, but he also had um, like a heart problem, an emotional problem. He was living all by himself. He couldn't live with his friends or family. He couldn't even live in the village and like see other people at the store. He would have had to live all alone. And he probably hadn't had anybody touch him or talk to him in years and years. And he was just probably felt really isolated. Everywhere he went, if he did have to go near another person, he would have to shout, unclean, unclean, everywhere he went. And everybody would just avoid him. Um, and so this guy was probably just really sad and really lonely. When he meets Jesus... He doesn't even ask for healing. He says in the verses that we read, if you are willing, would you make me clean? Jesus wasn't a priest. He didn't work at the temple. But this man knows that there's something different about Jesus. And he knows that if he really wants to be clean, if he really wants to be healed and welcomed back in, he needs to experience the great priest, Jesus. And so he says, if you are willing, would you make me clean? He doesn't even ask for healing. He asks to be restored. And Jesus says, I am willing, be healed. Jesus heals him. He makes him clean. But the part I love the most is that Jesus could have done that from far away. He could have said like, okay, you're all better now. Stay away. But Jesus walks right up to him, reaches out his hand and touches the man and then heals him. He didn't have to touch him, but Jesus is so compassionate, so loving that he goes out of his way to touch this guy. This guy probably hasn't had anybody touch him in a long time. And so Jesus is not only healing his body on the outside, but he's healing his heart too by touching him. This week, I want you to remember that Jesus does care about your outsides. He cares when you're sick or he cares when you fall and scrape your knee. But this story teaches us something really cool about Jesus, that he cares about our insides too. He cares about our hearts. 
He cares about how we feel on the inside. He cares about those thoughts that nobody else knows that you have. And we can bring all those things to Jesus. This week, no matter how you're feeling, I want to encourage you to spend some time with Jesus. And you can be really honest with Jesus. You can tell him exactly how you're feeling. You can tell him that you're mad or scared or angry or worried. Whatever's going on in the inside, if you're lonely or upset, you can tell Jesus that. And what we see from this story is Jesus doesn't just want to hear about those things from far away. He wants to know us. He wants to have a relationship with us and be in our lives. And he wants to heal our hearts too. He can heal our physical bodies and he does heal people. But he also wants to heal our hearts and to know us deeply. And we can learn that from this story and we can go and spend time with Jesus this week and let him heal our hearts too. Thanks for watching this week's Miss Erica.